Hello everyone, welcome to the Crack MRCS channel. This channel is dedicated for the MRCS examinee and videos of this channel will be very helpful for you to prepare yourself for MRCS part A exam. So here the question, a 73 years old man undergoes an excision biopsy of the limb node that is closely applied to the sternocleidomastoid. The muscle is mobilized and a nerve is present is damaged which muscle below is most likely to be affected so here a 73 years old man undergoing excision biopsy of the limb node that means the limb node present in the anterior posterior triangle usually from the posterior triangle this is closely applied to the sternocleidomastoid that means the limb node is very close to the sternocleidomastoid muscle mobilized and nerve present below the sternocleidomastoid is damaged so which muscle below is most likely to be affected here we can see the nerve is very close to the sternocleidomastoid so the function of the sternocleidomastoid may be impaired but in this option there is no options of the sternocleidomastoid so we have to find out that the nerve which lies sternocleidomastoid uh, muscle very close and which supplies the sternocleidomastoid muscle and this uh, uh, nerve also supply another muscle we have to find out that muscle here we can see the options options are trapezius muscle rhomboid major muscle deltoid muscle supra spinatus muscle and rhomboid minor muscle so here we can see this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle here they are the two head of the sternocleidomastoid it originated from the external part and clavicular part then it uh, ascend upward and finally inserted into the uh, mastoid bones so here we can see uh, between the two heads or uh, uh, two head origin of the muscle there is a nerve this nerve is if we go as uh, above here we can see it divided into two parts uh, one in the sternocleidomastoid muscle, mastoid muscle and another one is trapezius muscle so trapezius muscle function will be impaired uh, if the nerve injured here and the spinal accessory nerve it is the 11th cranial nerve it originated uh, within the cranial cavity from the medulla and then it descend through the jugular foramen and it divides into two parts one part uh, it supplies the sternocleidomastoid muscle here and the second part is supplies the trapezius muscle here so sternocleidomastoid and trapezius may lost its function due to the damage of the spinal accessory nerve which is very close to the sternocleidomastoid during the limb node biopsy in the posterior triangle so here we can see the trapezius muscle here and sternocleidomastoid here they are very close and they bound the posterior triangle of the uh, neck uh, sternocleidomastoid from the anterior, uh, anterior border of the posterior triangle and trapezius from the posterior border of the uh, posterior triangle here so our final answer is trapezius because uh, the nerve which is very close to the sternocleidomastoid it is a spinal accessory nerve which is 11th uh, uh, number of cranial nerve and it also supplied the trapezius muscle so our final answer is trapezius muscle which is supplied by cranial nerve 11 and that is the spinal accessory nerve which is very close to the sternocleidomastoid muscle